Hey, welcome. It's Night Lane Daily. I'm Jack. The news is about to start, so while we roll the intro, go ahead and take this time to recline in your chair. Some say it's more enjoyable that way. If you don't have a reclining chair, just ignore what I said. Corsair has just released a bunch of new DDR4 modules. The new sticks of RAM are from the Vengeance LPX lineup. And boy oh boy are there a lot of different options. From 4 gig kits to 128 gig kits, they all run at some impressive speeds. While the 128 gig kits only run as high as 3000 megahertz, it's the 32 gig kits that run at 3600 megahertz. The heat spreaders on these modules are all aluminum which makes them great for overclocking. This all sounds awesome right? You should go and get some right now right? Well the 30 the 32 gig kit costs $350, the 64 gig kit costs $550, and the 128 gig kit, it costs more than double the 64 gig kit at $1,175. So like, no thanks. I'll just enjoy the dubstep music in the product video while I build a whole new computer for that price. Things might get a bit more interesting with the iPhone 7. A Twitter user spotted coding in the latest version of iOS 9.1 firmware that mentions Li-Fi capability. For those of you who aren't familiar, Li-Fi stands for Light Fidelity. It's a means of transferring data over the visual spectrum rather than over radio waves using smart LED light bulbs. Li-Fi is 100 times faster than Wi-Fi, so it probably would be a smart idea for Apple to incorporate it into iPhone 7. But then again, it might not end up in the iPhone 7 at all. Li-Fi, after all, is still very new, but just the possibility of it in cell phones has been pretty excited. We'll just have to wait and see. What do you guys think of the Li-Fi capability coding in iPhones? Is it the best ever? Is it totally useless? Do you not care? Leave a comment. Remember how the Surface Pro 4 had problems with sleep mode power consumption? Well, apparently there is a new driver update that can be applied to the Intel chipset to fix the issue. The new driver, however, has not made its way into a Windows update yet. And according to NeoWin, the driver install file available from Intel doesn't work. But the driver update zip file can be downloaded and used to apply the driver manually. If you're a Surface Pro 4 owner, this is great news since testing of the newly applied driver has shown great results. Oh, we all know what time it is. It's beep, 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 beep. Uh, okay, Th thanks Cloud11e for that. Mm. Central Park. Researchers in Japan have reanimated a water bear after being frozen for 30 years. Google is rolling out the ability to install apps directly from search results, cause like, you know, tapping your finger a few more times in the Google Play Store was so hard. Reports are coming in that HTC will be in charge of designing two Nexus handsets this year, one 5 inch and one 5.5 inch. The Sony Z5 or Z5 will be launching in the US, but apparently it won't have the fingerprint sensor. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work that well in the first place, so you're, you're not missing out. Doesn't work. The World Economic Forum says that by 2020, robots will have taken 5 million jobs. At least they won't be taking over hosting for Netlinked. Humans drool, robots rule. And Shuttle has launched a new range of small form factor PCs and they only measure 0.5 liters in volume. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Nah, what's up, Doc? These are really cold. <laughs> ah yes, classic cartoons. Nothing quite like it. You know what else? Classic anime. But where can I find all my favorite anime in one place? <laughs> oh yeah, duh, Crunchyroll. You know what classic they just added to their lineup? Samurai Pizza Cats. Heck yeah. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find episodes of Samurai Pizza Cats? Not hard anymore thanks to Crunchyroll. All shows on Crunchyroll are professionally subtitled and playable on all your devices. And that's all including just the free version. Crunchyroll Premium gets you unlimited access to the newest episodes of all the anime, manga, and drama titles as soon as one hour after they air in Japan, all in ad-free 1080p HD. Normally, it's only $6.95 per month, but as an exclusive for Netlink Daily fans, you can try it for free for 30 days by going to crunchyroll.com slash NCIX. Enjoy all your favorite animes in one place, so click here or the link in the description to get your free trial. Samurai Pizza Cats. 
Who do you call when you need some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cats. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. You can catch previous episodes of Stuff We Do over here and follow us on Twitter over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to recline in a chair and wait patiently for my Drake coloring book. No, seriously, I really did order one. Gonna go recline now. Also, maybe tie up my hair.